Hey guys, welcome to Black Milk Headquarters where we will be talking about our latest little release which is an ammo release which we are calling Heroes! We don't need another hero! But we do need a little ammo collection featuring heroes. As you guys know, know we did a DC collection very recently featuring Batman, everybody's favourite caped crusader, the scourge of Gotham's underworld. And now we're like, we want to do some other stuff as well, but we wanted Batman to be very Batman focused. So we've put a couple of our other favorite heroes into this little mini collection. And, <laughs> and these are the heroes. I'm uh, sure I do not need to introduce these pieces, which I'm totally about to introduce anyway. Superman! Now, very important point. This is not Superwoman or Supergirl or Super Auntie or any kind of other super female. This is Superman but in a female cut, so that's the idea. Um, it is kind of uh, early 2000s Superman, I believe. He's got his little um, like honeycomb effect armor kind of thing happening, his awesome belt, and yes, he has a cape. Woohoo! And it is totally detachable, so it has buttons on top, so if you, want, if you want to be a bit more subtle, you know, if you're going out to like a work function uh, with no pants and a swimsuit on, but you're you thinking, I'm not sure if the cape is too much. Just detach that little sucker and go on in in your swimsuit and stilettos. But if you feel like Superman is not really your vibe and you want something a little bit more girl power, do this. It's Wonder Woman, uh, so a fantastic little piece. It's got an eagle on it. It's got a little pretend corsety thing. We were going to do some little wristy things. Maybe we still should. Wouldn't that be amazing? Pew, pew. So you can block like shuriken when ninjas attack you. And this also has a cape. Now, for the purists who say, I don't really know if it's technically true that Wonder Woman has a cape. Well, I have news for you people. Sometimes she does. And sometimes she doesn't, but sometimes she does. So we do have this detachable cape. Um, so you can be as, um, you know, you can fly around and stuff. We should probably put a product warning <laughs> does not actually enable you to fly because no doubt someone's going to try it. and you know who's going to get blamed for it? I'm going to get blamed for it. I'm going to get the nasty email saying oh my goodness you saw me a Wonder Woman cape and I totally jumped off a building and I hurt myself your fault James. So you cannot fly in this but you can look amazing and you can spin around. Woo! That's so cool. Alright, that's not all. Thank you girls. We also have stuff from Shiny things! I was going to introduce, you know, we've got Watchmen stuff coming up. But before I talk about Watchmen, I want to talk about this fabric. This is the uh, Shattered Crystal fabric. We really love it. We've done a couple of pieces in it and everyone's like, you should do red and blue. And we're like, yeah, we should do red and blue. And so here is red and blue. It looks amazing in the sun. It's got this beautiful holographic uh, effect through it. So this is our zip suit, um, our standard leggings, and our um, skater dress with our little sneaky thing going on here. So that will be all three cuts in both colors. So that's going to be coming out in Heroes as well. Thank you girls. Next, uh, this is the stuff from Watchmen. Um, if you're a kind of a big fan of uh, graphic novels, you will no doubt know and love Watchmen. So this is um, Tales of the Black Freighter. I'm not going to say too much about this. If you know Watchmen, you will know what Tales of the Black Freighter is all about. And if you know Watchmen, you'll also know this guy. He's, uh, he's a bit psycho. A uh, really interesting character actually, he was based on the idea of taking the idea of, of the superhero and asking the question of what kind of a person would be the kind of person who would stick on a mask and go out and beat up criminals at night. Um, and Alan Moore, the writer of Watchmen, came up with this guy here, uh, Rorschach, basically a complete psycho. Uh, that was his, his answer to what kind of person would actually do that and then kind of looking at the implications of what would it be like if you had to live that lifestyle and Rorschach was um, the natural um, craziness. Uh, he was the craziness that, but, it, but it was all kind of based on that whole kind of uh, Batman kind of thing of what kind of person would actually do that and on the back we have a Rorschach ink blot as well just to uh, get the point home thank you girls and last of all we have da -da -da, superheroes are very American they, uh, you know, you, truth, justice in the American way. So we decided uh, to bring out some America's um, themed stuff as well. We had some of this fabric uh, left over and we thought, you know what, let's put it out with heroes because you can be a great American hero. Um, that's an inside reference as well. When I was growing up, there was a show on TV called 
the greatest American hero. And people always used to say that I looked like the greatest American hero. And if you're too, like, too young for that, you just get yourself on the Google machine and look up the greatest American hero. He was really cool. Um, so check it out. His name was Ralph. Wicked. Because <laughs> you're too young. Have you heard of the greatest American hero? Have you heard of the greatest American hero? Yes. You have. Yeah, they had a really great theme song as well, which is just one of the great power ballads of the 80s. And I'm totally not going to sing it for you. Or should yeah. I sing it for you? You, it. you totally should. <laughs> Dick, I can't believe in myself. Suddenly I'm on top of the world. Should have been somebody else. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could. Did you get the idea? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's. But I mean, what a great song. Doesn't that just. Oh, it hits you right here, doesn't it? All right, thanks, guys. So that's uh, all for our podcast today. And I will see you next week. Woo!